What's up YouTube, this is Demkeys back again with another game development technique and today I'm going to teach you how to move one object based on the position and rotation of another object. First let's begin by creating a cube and a sphere, place them apart from each other. So let's say we want to move the sphere based on the position and rotation of the cube. One way to do this, which is a very easy way, would be to make the sphere a child of the cube. You just drag it onto the cube and it becomes a child of the cube. At this point, if you try to move the cube, you'll see the sphere moving around with it as well. If you try to rotate the cube, the sphere moves with it as well. It moves along with that rotation. Now while this technique is really easy and convenient, there may be rare cases where you might not be able to do this. For whatever reason, you might not be able to make the sphere a child of the cube. In that case, you have to use this technique which I'm going to show you right now. So select the cube, hit Control shift a to add a new component and create a new script called script 6 and open it up in monodevelop. Here type public game object, other object. Uh, this is basically going to be a reference to our sphere. Next, go in the update method and type other object dot transform dot position equals transform dot transform point. Uh, make sure it's not inverse transform point. You're looking for transform point. Enter 0 on X, 2 on Y, and 1 on Z. Hit save. Go back to Unity. Before running the game, drag the sphere onto the other object field. Now hit play. As you can see the position of the sphere has changed and when you move the cube around in the scene the sphere moves around with it. When you rotate the, the cube the sphere's position changes accordingly. Let me try and explain to you what's happening over here. Basically the transform point function takes in a position and transforms it from the local space of this game object to world space and then we assign that position in world space to other object dot transform dot position. Just so that we are able to set these values from the inspector let's create a public vector 3 variable call it pos and here, instead of values, just write POS. Hit save, go back to Unity, and now you'll see a vector 3 field over here, so we can enter these values. Let's hit play. Now, it seems like the sphere has disappeared. That's not what has happened. If you notice, the position given over here is 0 on X, 0 on Y, and 0 on Z. It's actually centered on the cube right now. So if you change the value of X to 2, you'll see it right there. You can change the value of Y as well. Let's say 4 and you can change the value of z, say 2. And again, if you rotate the cube, the position of the sphere changes as well. You move the cube around, the position of the sphere changes. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I was faced with the same problem recently and I found a solution to it, so I thought I'll share it with you guys. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you'd like to watch more tutorials, you can click in the top left corner of the screen and in the top right is a link to my music channel where I post music that I make in my free time. In the bottom left corner, you have a preview for a small game that I made. The links for the project and the game build are in the description down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave your comments below and I'll see you guys next time.